Hi, this is Rahmat Sobirov, managing lawyer of Sobirov's law firm. We do business immigration and investor immigration to Canada. In this short video, I want to show you a glimpse of real estate development in and around Toronto and in Canada in general. It will be a, a glimpse of the process. We are very close to our office, uh, which will change very soon. But I want to show a real estate project that is coming to our neighborhood. And we will read something on the board. So let's check it out. It's just across the street. Next to us is, uh, is, um, is a church. And this church, the zoning does not allow you to do commercial uh, developments. As long as the city maintains this zoning as is, you cannot build anything here uh, in terms of commercial property. So let me, let me show you the surroundings first. Uh, so this is a Bloor Street, one of the main streets of, in, in Toronto. We are in the west side and we, the intersection there is Kipling Street, Bloor and Kipling. So now here the, the developments were, these are like 10, 15 years old condominiums. These are the more newer, fresh one, the one that is higher, high rise. That's just next to the subway station, which is a prime location in terms of residential, uh, residential units. So let me cross the street very carefully. So now you, you see there are, this is a typical Toronto street. And these are typical houses, used to be houses, turned into offices. There's a dental office, there's a law office there, there's an accountant office. But now look at this one. Here's a, here's a project that is coming to this neighborhood. Okay, so you see Kipling, there's a Bloor, we are right here, there's a church here. This is, this is our building, right? And this is what's coming right right on this ground right see right on this ground this is what's gonna happen it's a uh, it says 35 stories uh, 116 meters tall 328 residences which means this is a condominium project so 329 329 residences uh, parking spots and bike bike spots and so on so the city has received an application to change the zoning okay the city controls where you can build, what you can build in that area. Uh, so the zoning change is being proposed by law to allow a residential building. So this is now zoned as commercial. It will be rezoned as residential. And so uh, the construction company, of course, Amdev Bemish Limited Partnership. Limited partnerships are usually the case in residential developments, okay, in real estate development. They do limited partnership just to build this project and then and then they dis dissolve it afterwards if necessary. So anything about this project you can find on this website and here's the contact information. Let me just show it to you. Contact information and the website is there. File number is there. You can learn. It's, it's a public meeting, public discussion. People may, pro, may oppose this rezoning, but this is what's happening. And this is, this is the, the units that were built before. These are co commercial units. The, and subway is right here, right here. Subway is very close, walking distance. And this new building is coming up. It will be prime property. It, it will, once it's approved, I think real estate developer will start selling it like hot cookies, okay? So this is one glimpse and now I will walk another hundred meters <laughs> down the street and uh, we will see what's going on there. So as you can see these are old houses turned into offices, commercial property for now and it will be, it will be uh, dismantled, the real estate developer will buy these, these land, these uh, territories and then dismantle you know, everything. Decon deconstruct and then construct a new building, right? Okay, now, here's another one. Okay, look at that. Hot, hot Toronto market. Okay, now, we are, uh, we are literally, we walked down the street like 50, 100 meters, give it a take. And here's another one, okay? Here's another proposal. So, we are here now, okay? We are here. We saw the development here, and now we are looking at this massive development next to it. It's basically, I think it will be done somewhere there, okay? 
somewhere in that plaza. That will be, um, okay, now let's read. 10 to 45 stories. Uh, the, the, la the height is between 34, 146 meters. And there will be 2,130 residences estimated. There will be a lot of retail, 5,000 uh, 5, square feet of retail and uh, almost 1,000 cars and uh, 1,500, 1,600 bikes. And there will be a, uh, th this again, a city has received an application to change the official plan and zoning bylaw to allow construction of four mixed use blocks, including seven buildings, okay? So see, there are seven buildings, four blocks, seven buildings, underground parking and everything. And uh, the application is also, uh, also includes a public park so there will be a public park right here see there will be a public park around this area this has been uh, developed recently there was a very confusing bridge system here that it was this uh, deconstructed uh, a couple of years ago and we had a lot of dust in our office but this is a hot and up and coming area of toronto western toronto and that's that's the Lake Ontario down the hill around uh, five, six kilometers down this road, you will hit Lake Ontario. These are the buildings that were done uh, like 10, 15 years ago, mixed residential, as I said, and now this is coming. So just a glimpse of how difficult, how time consuming is the rezoning application permits, obtaining permits and so on. So, what happens in this kind of situation, these applicants, uh, which is a new entity, Six Points Plaza Limited, will obtain permits. Once they obtain the permits to build something, they will sell it to the builder, okay? By, you know, making some margin of profit, significant margin of profit, because they spend a lot of time on getting the permits, getting the permission, doing the zoning and everything. Six Point Plaza is this plaza, let me see. So this is brand new uh, avenue, okay? This is brand new park, you can see here. That's the Six Point Plaza. That's where the, those seven buildings will be built. There's a huge parking lot, uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, uh, uh, you know, a shop that you can buy anything and everything almost. There are some uh, commercial units, Starbucks is there. It will be all gone in, let's say, 10 years from now, definitely will be gone. But permit pr procedure will take roughly five to seven years. Then building, actually, the buildings will take around three to four years. The occupation occupancy of these units that we just read will probably be in, uh, let's say, 10 years from now, huh? roughly 10 years from now in 2032 <laughs> so Toronto market is super hot 100,000 immigrants out of 400,000 immigrants are coming to Ontario today I had an amazing talk with Toronto Global an organization that helps foreign businesses and investors to soft land in Canada in Toronto region this is very hot market if you want to benefit from this market you should start moving thinking about this making your steps towards canada as as soon as possible sobirov's law firm helps you with all business immigration investor immigration tech tech immigration we can if you are a tech company we can move you to canada you can benefit from canadian uh, and north american uh, consumer market so whatever questions you have we have the answer hopefully we'll do our best to get your answers Contact us, sobirovs.com website, and our email is wecare at sobirovs.com. We care about your application. We care about your success in Canada. Have a good one. Bye-bye.